Milos Ronic explained how the big three had messed things up for their rivals while he was enjoying his peak. Milos Ronic has claimed that the big three ruined people's expectations of what was normal in tennis. The former world number three recently made his comeback after a two-year injury layoff and admitted that tennis had moved on from the days that saw Novak Djokovic, Rafael Nadal and Roger Federer dominate at the Masters events. But Ronick still thought that their era of dominance meant other top 10 players were shut out. Ronick crashed out in the round of 16 of the Canadian Open after making a triumphant return at home. Now ranked at number 545 in the world, he received a wild card and stunned number 9 seed Francis Tiafo in the first round before outing Taro Daniel in his second match. The 33 year old was once one of the challengers to the Big Three throne. Downing Federer to reach the Wimbledon final in 2016 and reaching a career high ranking of number 3. But Ronick has now admitted that it was tough to live up to expectations set by the likes of Djokovic, Nadal, Federer and even Andy Murray. I don't know. For me, obviously, I haven't played enough of the top guys to know, but I would actually say it's a little bit the opposite. The Canadian said when asked whether the level of his rivals was now higher with guys in the top 50 able to upset top seeds. Instead, Ronick thought that it was because Federer had retired while Djokovic and Nadal no longer prioritized the Masters events. He explained, I think just three guys, to have three exemplary kind of legendary athletes in one sport, not even in one generation, period but in one sport at the same time, you kind of mess up with everybody's expectation of what is normal, right? If you look back at a lot of tournaments, yeah, you would have the three of them playing. Obviously. I am talking, like, when all the three guys were taking Master Series seriously. I think, you know, we've kind of forgotten a little bit now because it's been kind of just a pure focus on Grand Slams for them for the last couple years. And the eight-time title winner thought that he was one of the players who had been caught up in their prime, leaving them to advance to the latter stages while other top stars outside of that top four would be susceptible to upsets. But when I was first on tour, it was pretty much them and Andy, he continued. Pretty much, I would say, 60%, 70% of the semifinals were them. And maybe when it came to clay, David Ferrer was kind of the guy changing things up a little bit. So, yeah, you had three guys that were there all the time and winning most of the events. But I think you were still seeing the same kind of thing, the rotation of guys from 16 to 5 in the world, let's say, that were kind of maybe losing early in events. You know, they weren't, like, it's not like every week the top 8 seeds were all in the quarters, right? So it's quite different. Ronick did confess to getting caught up in the expectations set by the big three himself, adding, I think three guys just messed with everybody's expectations for a long time. In sport, and just in a lot of things, we have a very short-term memory, and I am guilty of that as well. Dot. But he thought that the current state of the men's tour was reminiscent of tennis before Federer first burst onto the scene and was later joined by Nadal and Djokovic. Ronick said, but tennis was quite different before Roger came around. And then, you know, I think it's just this kind of next period is probably what tennis, obviously, Novak is still around, and he's still going to be very involved in later stages of Grand Slams. But I think it's kind of like what tennis was when Andre and Sampras were kind of aging out a little bit, right? You have a lot of different players that will win slams. And if you look at history and you just look at the trend, there's many players with one or two. And then, you know, the higher up you go with the numbers, the quantity of players there drops off. I think just three guys really messed with everybody's caliber or recalibration of what's normal.